On August 6, 1945, the United States dropped an atomic bomb on the Japanese city of Hiroshima, marking the first time a nuclear weapon was used in warfare. A single bomb wiped out an entire city in seconds. Everything near the epicenter was instantly vaporized. People closest to the blast were turned to ash in a split second. Buildings and vehicles melted under the intense heat. Approximately 140,000 people were killed. This is Little Boy, the first and one of the most terrifying weapons ever unleashed by mankind. The bomb was delivered under a top-secret U.S. operation during World War II, the Manhattan Project. It was led by physicist J. Robert Oppenheimer. The little boy was 120 inches in length, 28 inches in diameter, and weighed approximately 9,700 pounds. In the early morning of August 6, 1945, the B-29 Superfortress took off from Tinian Island, with Hiroshima as its primary target. After a six-hour flight, the aircraft reached Hiroshima under clear weather conditions. At approximately 31,000 feet, the bomb, nicknamed Little Boy, was released from the bomb bay. 44 seconds after release, barometric sensors detected the present detonation altitude, about 580 meters, 1,900 feet above the ground. Once the correct altitude was sensed, the firing mechanism activated. This ignited three Navy gun primers located in the breech plug. The primers ignited a conventional explosive charge, four silk powder bags, each filled with about two pounds or 0.9 kilograms of cordite. This explosion propelled a uranium-235 projectile ring down a barrel at about 300 meters per second into a matching uranium target ring at the opposite end. Four modulated neutron initiators were embedded in the tungsten carbide target. Inside each initiator were two elements, polonium and beryllium. Upon impact and compression, the elements mixed, producing a burst of neutrons. These neutrons collided with uranium atoms, causing them to split, a process called nuclear fission. Each fission event released additional neutrons, which in turn struck more uranium atoms, sustaining a rapid chain reaction and releasing immense energy. Alongside energy, the process emitted intense gamma radiation and unleashed enormous heat and pressure. The resulting explosion had the force of approximately 15 kilotons of TNT. It produced a towering mushroom cloud, sent shock waves in all directions, and formed a fireball with a surface temperature of about 6,000 degrees Celsius, as hot as the surface of the sun. The bomb was deliberately detonated in the air, an air burst, to maximize its destructive range. At the very center, in a 0.5 kilometer radius. Everything was instantly vaporized. People closest to the blast were turned to ash in a split second. Entire buildings were obliterated. Steel frames and concrete structures melted under the intense heat. Roads were ripped apart, and streetcars and buses melted where they stood. Within a 1.5 kilometer radius, the heat burned the skin on the bodies. Survivors suffered severe burns. Clothes caught fire. People screamed in agony. Many died within minutes, overwhelmed by shock, blood loss, or burns. Radiation exposure in this zone was fatal for most. At a three kilometer radius, some survived the explosion, but many later died from radiation sickness, vomiting, bleeding, hair loss, and infections. A slow and painful death. The initial blast killed an estimated 66,000 people instantly. By the end of 1945, that number had risen to around 140,000 as more died from burns, trauma, and radiation. And the suffering didn't end there. Radiation caused long-term health effects for the survivors, higher cancer rates, genetic damage, and birth defects in future generations. All of this Unimaginable devastation was caused by a bomb that contained just 64 kilograms of uranium, roughly the weight of an average teenage boy. Such a small amount of material, yet it unleashed destruction on an unthinkable scale. The bombing of Hiroshima was not just a moment in history, 
it was a turning point for humanity. In a single flash, the world saw the terrifying power of nuclear weapons. It showed us what happens when science, war, and politics collide without restraint. We remember Hiroshima not just to mourn, but to learn, so that such a weapon is never used again. If you found this video informative, hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're notified when I make a new video. Stay connected and be part of the journey. Follow Learn From The Base. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned a lot, and I will see you next time.